Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That March difficulty. Today, we're gonna do a little side quest. You might remember when we were uh, exploring Kaer Morhen that we found some notes uh, belonging to Geralt's former Witcher partner, Berengar. And uh, he was working on a sword and now we're gonna talk to Vesemir to see uh, if he can tell us a bit more about that project. Looks like uh, Askel is working on some vampire corpse here. Maybe the the katakan that he fought. Let's ask. This the katakan you had a contract. The katakan. Now we go. A month of tracking, stalking, but I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering though, why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Okay then, maybe I sh should help you in that autopsy. Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Ha <laughs> ha! Where did he get that apple? The director says, Geralt, eat an apple, you'll look more like an asshole. So, let's examine the head first. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. Yeah, and like the in the drunk uh, the Oxenford drunk quest. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. And clearly quite the old beast then. Open its gut. So the intestines rummage around in there while he's eating. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. Oh yeah, I don't think she would like that. No thanks. She only wears silver. And there's it's that gross. as well. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunk. So it really looks like the katakan we fought in uh, in Oxenford. But those claws, look at the size of those things. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Great. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. Not sure I'd have managed without the alchemist's help. Okay then. That's enough for now. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. Be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later, see Eskel. You could, probably by the size of its legs, its paw prints. But I could be mistaken, I'm no witcher. So, we're gonna continue what we uh, set out to do, so hi, Vesemir. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Well, uh... We found Berengar's notes. Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhern, you were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the end. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. But then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. What do you mean? Berengar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know what he was like. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Berengar had to turn tail, and since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came back red with blood. And shame. Hardly said a word and left soon after, never to return. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort's lair? 
I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there, you could be in for a wild ride. Well, we've had some experience with chorts. Well, one, to be precise. Head down the river to the chorts cave, and it seems to be in the surrounding areas. So, uh, well, I suppose I'll see you guys there. Well, I had to head quite a ways down the river to get to where I needed to be, but I think I found the cave where the chort is supposed to be hiding. Mushrooms? So let's see, entrance. Is here? I've gotta be close. Ah, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I also found another uh, place of power in between recording, so let's check the character menu first. So, since we don't have another empty slot, it would be easier to, uh, well, remove the arrow deflection again. So, I'm going to do that and then select another sign ability. But let's see what we're going to take. I think I should either go for Erden Intensity or Igni Intensity, since those are two of the most used uh, signs. And I think I'm going to go with. Erden Intensity for now. Although... You know what? Never mind. Igni Intensity. Because I use Igni a lot more than uh, Erden. There we go. So 5% increase. A flat 5% increase. This place is dark. Hopefully it lights up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, An old strong bow. No wonder Berengar got in trouble. So I think those are relics. So then we're going to use Relic's Oil on our sword. And I think I might as well equip the Devil's Puff Ball as well. There we go. Equip it in the menu. And then save. Let's go buddies! What is he doing? I'm gonna take another dose of cat because I'm not seeing much in here. There we go, consume. What the hell is he doing? I think the devil's puffball did that, the poison kind of made him freak out. Now to find Berengar's things. Okay. So that's everything from the chort. Now, look for a silver sword in the cave. Well, that's easier said than done. Um, must be in a package on the ground, right? Oh, there. A bag. Diagram for Thorhair. Ah, the diagram. Forging the Thorhair won't be easy. But it's sure as hell worth a try. Okay then. Sounds interesting. Um, and that's apparently it. Yes, it doesn't even force me to uh, create the blade. So well then. That's the end of the Berengar's blade quest. Uh, might create it at the end of the episode. But I'm first going to do another side quest. So see you guys in a second when I return to Kaer Morin. And then we'll work from there. So, we're back at uh, the gates of Kaer Morhen, and I'm gonna go to Skellige and try my hand at a, a Hallowed Horn quest. Because we need to find a priceless artifact that uh, was stolen by a bunch of thieves. So, let's head to Skellige. So, uh, we're back at the haunted... oh shit. The haunted fire tower, if you remember. Uh, a haunted lighthouse and I got attacked by a bunch of harpies Harpy massacre 
So let's quickly loot these little buggers and heal up a bit. Ooh, that was a lot of feathers. So uh, this is actually one long peninsula and I need to get somewhere in the middle. Um, so this is where the lighthouse keeper was living. And in a few paces I should be where the thieves are located, somewhere over there. So I think I see the guys already. So if I attack from water that should be... Well, more interesting, shouldn't it? Maybe I should equip the uh, arrow deflection. So, there we go. So now I should be able to parry arrows again as I did before. And with Axie we're making short work of that. There we go. Axie is uh, my new favorite when I'm fighting humanoids because that's really awesome that you can just, well, turn them on each other. Because those two guys practically killed each other. Uh, so the horn should be around here. There we go. Holger Blackhand's horn. And a journal of a thief. Can we read that? Yes, we can. I, Kiara, son of Knut, have twice disgraced myself, first by running from the field of battle out of fear of dying. The shield I abandoned then rests on the bottom of that marsh, and there it will stay until Ragnarok, as a testimony of my cowardice. The second time was when Orn Two Heads convinced me to help him steal Holger's Black Holger Blackhand's horn. Orn told I'd sell the horn to smugglers, but I won't. If I'm to live like a thief and a bandit, I prefer not to live at all. The one thing I can do to regain my honor is to return the horn to where it belongs, to its ancestral home. Matthäus, who Holger charged with getting the horn back, has family near these cliffs. I hope he'll come here for the Equinox Festival, then I'll be able to give him back the stolen horn and ask for him to vouch for me with the Jarl. That's all the hope I have left. So apparently the thief felt guilty. But I don't really know why they started fighting me then, if one of those guys was the thief. Um, so, I need to go quite a ways to uh, get the horn back to uh, Matthios. Yeah. And I killed myself. Okay, so let's try it again and not kill myself this time. So, I'll see you guys back at Matthios. Matthios, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. But, I'll see you at his place. So let's see what kind of reward we can get for this horn. Uh, he should be around here. Yeah, Matthias. Greetings, traveler. Greetings to you too. Recovered your stolen horn. Got back your stolen horn, and I uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. They attacked me. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. Okay, grateful little fellow. Well, F you too. So that's another quest, doesn't it? Goes fast in here, so I'm gonna do another one. The Nithing. Let's uh, talk to Lothar. I'll head there and I'll see you in a minute, and then we'll uh, explain the details about this quest. So this Lothar character, this uh, man, asks our help because his son, I think, has, uh, is suffering from a curse and he's getting closer and closer to death. So we uh, kind of need to hurry to lift whatever that curse might be. So hello Lothar. He posted a notice so that's why I know about this quest already. Nay. The man is praying. Okay then, heard you're having trouble with a curse. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look, see it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this a nithing, sorry. And nothing to scoff at can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. 
Oh, he's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but no luck. Okay, then. Any idea who I might be you. doing that to One your son? Ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the knithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm -hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Okay, that seems simple enough. So uh, let's investigate the knithing. The knithing? It's a really weird, weird word. Knithing. Knithing. Powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Okay, footsteps. Look around some. So that's interesting. They go through the woods. Okay, what's this? Hmm. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Interesting, so someone lost a piece of s scarf here. And I think Geralt is gonna keep... Yeah, okay. Thank you, Geralt. Uh, keep... Oh, so now we have a sand. Ooh, this is really hard to see in the... In the sunlight. Uh, it's going over here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Okay, so we arrived at the village down below here. And the scent is too confusing for Geralt to pick up who uh, it might be. So let's ask around a bit. Hear about me, Sonny? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry, busy at the moment. Sorry, can't take this on right now. Farewell. Okay, so that's apparently apparently another Witcher contract. I'm gonna do that later on, of course. But uh, let's talk about women. No. Need help? No. Old woman also not talking. We don't have to talk to Odin. Okay then. They're all just. Named Scaliger woman, so. Greetings. Greetings. Maybe Jonna. Uh, no. See you. Fare thee well. How do I ask around about the shawl's owner? Not worth and I can't talk to anyone. Step aside. You're a witcher, right? I. Oh, apparently the lady by the water was the one. I could talk to. Any chance you know who wore that? That was shot? weird. Of course, Yona, our herbalist, lives there in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for. Yeah, her. I already talked to her, but yeah, she wasn't real pleased. <laughs> she wasn't really talkative about that subject. So let's talk to her now, then. Okay, and I wonder what her found problem will be. Near Lothar's house. By the knife you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Oh, okay, Kanan, I'm guessing you have your bride, reason. But he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. Okay. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. And Cold then you kill him. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. I do want you to lift the curse. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. 
Okay, so let's head back to Lothar and uh, tell him why his son has been cursed. I don't think he's gonna approve to let uh, his son back to the woman that tried to kill him. But hey, we might as well try, right? Lothar, we have a proposition you'll probably refuse. No cure for trouble like a witcher. Okay then. Fuck you too. So, you know who placed the knife thing? Yup. Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch. Can't stand to see others happy. So. Oh, so she, she was together with him. Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never. My wife. My son. I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've got to break the spell, Witcher. Let her die. Um. Hmm. So either let his son die or let her die. Maybe I can convince her otherwise. Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No. Neither. But he doesn't have to die. You have a choice. All right. If it'll save Chalva. I'll go back to the hussy. And you best not see your face right here again. Well, that was one solution. I thought I was going to be able to go to Jonah and force her with Axie to uh, lift the curse, but that's a way to end it as well. Not something that I wanted to do, but well, it's better than killing either of them. Look at that view. So, with the three quests done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.